Thank you for joining us and welcome to the show. I'm Jules Hallam and today we have the absolute pleasure of sitting down with EJ who's just put out her teaser track Mama I'm Gonna Sing. I sense in there there's there's an element of Mama I'm going to sing so it's like I'm not gonna do something conventional I'm gonna make music. Was that would that be accurate? Mm, the title would pretty much give that away yes. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> So how long have you been, you know, chasing the, the music career? Um, it's not really that I've been chasing the music career because it's always been something that I've done, like, since I was young. I mean, like, we'd always put, I mean, ever since before I could walk, I'd always have to go like, ballet classes or it was always, you know, my mum would send me to ballet class and it was, then it was jazz and then it was, yeah. so, so there was always four hours a day of something where you would spend it being in that particular eye. So it's never been like, when people go, how long have you decided you wanted to do this? It's not, it wasn't really like that, it was just people would just go, okay, well no, yeah, that's what, so it's just whatever was done. Right, so you've always been surrounded by the, the performing arts. Exactly. The ballet and the dancing yeah, exactly. and stuff. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Tell me about the music that you're releasing after Mama I'm Gonna Sing because that is an a cappella which is showcasing your voice but yeah. I get the feeling it's gonna be quite different. Oh yeah, well Bangers and, well the other song I'm doing after this is a straight up sort of ATL beat um, over English lyric, very English lyric actually. Okay. But it's, I think the only way I can do that really is because I tend to like, you know, I have, well I say she's my auntie but she's not really my auntie but She's like a woman in Atlanta who I'd go there and, you know, for those two months of the year, I'm basically, you know, I'm a, some person living in the, in the middle of nowhere in Atlanta, mm. eating loads of really, really unhealthy food and listening to loads of blues and stuff okay, with these okay. people that, you know, so I'm really in that concept of being in Atlanta. So the whole music scene and everything, I'm completely in it, you know, and I'm just, literally divulging myself there but then yeah, sure. I've kind of put the English side of it with the lyrics because the lyrics are so English. Yeah, of course. So that's, that's when you say ATL beat, yeah. uh, it's that Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta beat. Yeah. Okay, okay. So what do you do when you go out there? Mm. Do you go out there to write music or just to Yeah, I go out there and write music but I also just go out there and just like like just sing with a lot of the musicians that are out there and okay, okay. just or just listen to what they're doing or just like watch people there and just hmm. I'm just there in it so I just sure, you know sure. whatever happens when I'm there kind of thing. What's but the I mean, music scene like that? Oh it's it's I think it's what London will be because I think um, uh, it, So London needs to follow the example of Atlanta. For it's the, not that the they'll follow the example but I'm just saying cool. because um I'm just saying they have a their live scene is so wide. I mean you you go around the corner and there's 50 people performing there and you know four or five of them are really good and you know they're, they're probably not going to go out of that town ever but they don't really have to because to sure. be honest they can make a really good living just being right where they are because everyone there's a huge demand for them mm. there, you know what I mean so it's there's so much um but choice but that's kind of why because someone just asked me before like you know what do you think about this whole YouTube thing and I'm like I'm embracing it because it just shows that you know it, you really people really have to be involved in your music in order mm. to in order for it to sure. really really work. I mean everything else you can kind of you know you, you can have a good team around you that can build all the glitz and glamour and put you know the expensive necklace on you so it looks yeah, yeah, great or you know or put you in the latest you know blah 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 going around. But you know if you do, it, the music if you're going to be in the music, do music, you know, that's, mm. be really good at that and then just let everything else kind of just fall around Yeah, it. sure. It's interesting what you're saying about the demand as well for music in Atlanta. Yeah. Because with London there is just so much music that people almost just tune out because there's so yeah, many exactly. people trying to push their thing. Okay. People don't really become interested. Mm. But you're saying in Atlanta it's like people really want to hear the music and they yeah, really want to go to the gigs. Lives, it's the live scene as well, I mean like you go there, like for example I went there one time and I saw this old guy and he was like, he was probably about 75 and he just stood up and he just started doing like this running man and it was just like, 
and he was singing and it wasn't really good singing but it, yeah, it was really yeah. funny and yeah, the fact yeah. that he was dancing like that <laughs> and just didn't really care I was yeah. it was just so funny that I was like no this guy's really good oh and so this was, was just an old guy like, it was just on the an old, no just an old guy in like the pub like around okay, the corner okay. and I thought no this guy's actually really good and everyone's like yeah go on yeah and I was like yeah come on yeah <laughs> you know like, really really on, yeah because it was yeah. like no he's actually you know so that's what I mean about that you have to. The good thing about him is that it is. It was the music at that particular point. You know, mm. well, he might not have been doing it right, but it came from somewhere. So, and people saw that, and that's what they went for. Right, right. And right. it's kind of like we've tuned out to that, and then just gone for what, like what everyone wants to give us, like the mm. the, the elusivity of it. Do you know what I mean? Rather than the actual music as well. Yeah. And maybe that's why you're tuning out, as you say, but you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, of course. Music is good for you. Mm. And there's a lot... It keeps you in colourful jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot that can be said <laughs> for just going out and listening to music. Like, yeah. Just the, 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 the pastime of going to a gig and just to find some new bands yeah. seems, to have, seems to have been lost, which yeah, exactly. is a real shame, because there's still some great, exactly. great music out there. Exactly. I mean, and if you think about it, like, you know, the, the people that... I like tend to listen to like every day and everything. That's kind of like how they're still there in a way because you know like if you, like like till now people you know he's dead but still Jimi Hendrix. I mean people there's a real good life. There's so many stories I've heard of him yeah. of him being live. Yeah. How he's like only had three strings on his guitar and he kept playing and everyone was cheering. You just hear all these stories and like you don't hear that anymore these days. And mm. it's that I think that's what the that's what is a little bit of a shame. I yeah, think. but you mentioned uh, YouTube earlier and how you've embraced it. Yeah. I think that's part of the problem because there are so many artists who want to put their music out there. Mm. It, it People are, have got too much choice. So it's like the quality of the music has to be so high. I mean, maybe it's always been like that. Yeah, but, th but that's what I'm saying. It, then, then the people that are really successful, there's a really good quality to it there, isn't there? Okay, okay. So that's how you can gauge as to, mm. you know, what's, do you see what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, 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 I do, I do. So, you know, okay, some of it might not, you know, some of it might be more marketed and whatever else, but the point is, is that the whole, there's still, everything is still polished to mm. a certain degree for you to be able to, for it to be able to be, you know, have a demand to it. Yeah, of course, of course. I'm very flattered that you uh, complimented me on my jumper, but <laughs> look at your outfit, it's, it's amazing. I, I, I almost need to wear sunglasses <laughs> sitting here. I just tend to dress what I feel like for the mood, like today I felt like Let's go for something cheerful. bright. Yeah, cheerful, yeah, yeah. So cheerful's good, but we thought the same thing. The only thing is, is that we didn't think to we didn't really Colour coordinate match. our outfits, no, so did we? So we look a bit awkward. It's a bit of a But you know, awkward people mm. go far. I mean, look. People would say I'm a bit awkward. People would probably say, I "Don't find you awkward at all." Thank you, thank you very, very much. much. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. I like you more and more <laughs> every day. You can sit close. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, not not too close. I'm yeah, joking. yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's keep a barrier here. Yeah. I'm joking. Um, okay. So, when when's your first single out? Um, the first single should be out by early March. Early March, and is that a precursor to an album later this year? Yes. Nice. <laughs> any any titles for any of these releases? I can't give any titles. Ah, oh, I thought you'd say that, but I'm I was really thinking you'd maybe give something away. But they, I tell you what, they're really English, and okay. um, they give tea, a lot of way. Macintosh. Um, I I sing about the bus, the four three six bus. <laughs> well, I'm very flattered to have shared some of your future music with you this afternoon, and uh, well, it's been a real pleasure. Cool. I'm really looking forward to hearing some of your other stuff oh, because the girls here have been saying it's going to be really like quite in the face, quite dancey. How, quite how, how forward are you looking forward to it? Just like a little bit? Why not? <laughs> no, no, I'm quite looking forward to it because I, it, I was taken aback by you've obviously got a really strong voice so I was like whoa this is cool. How, I'm how interested to see how, where it's going to go. How did you react? Were you like or were you just like oh okay. Suddenly feel like I'm being <laughs> <laughs> somehow somehow changed around.